It was another uh, day of temperatures well, well above <laughs> normal today after getting into record territory yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, summer in Phoenix, it can be brutal, but it's our extreme heat. It's a sign of a bigger concern down the road, possibly. Yeah, climate experts, in fact, say yes, there will come a day when Phoenix will be considered unlivable because of our extreme heat. Monica Garcia explains why that might come sooner than we think. Hi, Monica. Hi, yeah, how soon? Try by the end of this century. One expert even guesses by 2060, guys, we're going to start seeing the impacts here in Phoenix of global warming more so than any other state in the U.S. Even though temperatures are gorgeous out right now, the inevitable 100 plus days are in the not so distant future. Every year sticking around a lot longer. There will come a day when the temperature won't fall below 100 degrees at nighttime in Phoenix. Dr. Andrew Ross, a professor of urban studies at NYU, is sounding the alarm, calling Phoenix the bullseye of global warming in the world. It's heating up and drying out faster than anywhere else in the hemisphere. He says our environmental issues can't all be blamed on where we sit geographically. Our infrastructure also plays a role. If your economy is driven simply by real estate growth, especially low density growth of single family homes uh, in the desert, then you're not going to that, that that's not a recipe for a low carbon footprint. He sees a future where electricity use will surge as air conditioners run on full force, straining local grids to the point of blackouts. Arizona still only generates twice as much solar power as New Jersey, which isn't exactly known for its sunny climate. Last summer, Phoenix didn't just break the record for the most 100 degree days in a year, but also the most 110 and 115 degree days. I know there are climate change deniers in Arizona. Some of them are <laughs> your elected officials. <laughs> it's part of the problem. It's going to get hotter. It's going to get drier. It's not going to snow as much. There's a lot of smart people at ASU and U of A and SRP and in the government that are trying to figure out ways to mitigate this. Arizona's family meteorologist Royal Norman has been monitoring the climate change in our region for decades. The blessing for us just last week when we had that huge snowstorm. Well, for Phoenix, that means we get not only this year, but we get next year for sure where we've got enough water. Yeah, so water is one thing we don't have to worry about, at least until next year, but we still have the heat. So how do we help Phoenix cool off? Well, Royal recommends, he says, conserve energy at home. And if you really want to, reach out to your elected officials and encourage them to take action against this climate change. In Phoenix, I'm Monica Garcia with Arizona's Family.